J Boss Soul Boxing Fanaticals. This is the end here to do another boxing announcement. This is the super fight, the mega fight. Argentina versus Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico versus Argentina. Miguel Angel Coto from the Caguas, Puerto Rico versus Sergio Maravilla Martinez from Buenos Aires, Argentina. So much agurio, so much pride. Gope, gope. You uh, know, they're going to go toe to toe. And this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bout. I cannot wait. You guys tell me what you think. June 7th is going down. On, uh, I believe it's going to be a day before the Puerto Rican day. I mean, a day after. I mean, no, no, no. It is the, uh, the day before the Puerto Rican day parade on Sunday. On Saturday is the Puerto Rican day parade. Puerto Rican weekend is due out there. I will be there Friday. Uh, if you guys are in town, say what's up to me, man. I'm cool. I'm not an asshole, you know, I'm not a cabron, and uh, you can just say what's up to me, remember. Anyway, back to the topic on hand, Miguel Angel Coro, you know, he's Boricua to the bone. He is everything of what a Boricua is. He is prideful, you know, he comes in the ring ready to win every single time. He doesn't come to the ring to lose, you know. And uh, he gives his 100% maximum effort, you know, and he throws his jabs really, really well. And he just knows boxing, the basics of boxing. What, that's what makes him so special. And uh, when he's aggressive, that's when he's at his best. When he's not aggressive as much, he's not at his best. When he's on the back foot of boxing, he can do it, but he looks better when he's coming forward. Sergio, magical, magical boxer, you know. That's why they call him Arabia. He's marvelous. I mean, he throws great combinations. Muy fuerte. Muy rápido. He does this thing. Well, I don't even understand. He can shrug his shoulders, get away with it. Doesn't get hit as much at 39 years old. Throw combinations like that. That's an A-punch combo. Boom, boom, boom. Straight down the pipe. Straight left hand. Bah! And then turn. And then turn with some footwork. Ah, 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 ah. Look at the shoulders. Shoulders. Four punches. He'll look at you. Ah, right up the cut. And move the hammer. Ah, that's up the cut. And he'll double. Ah, ah. And then he has his patented punch. Jab, jab. Ah, overhand left. Landed that on Paul Williams. Knocked him out in the second round. It was brilliant. One of the best one punch knockouts ever. You've never seen it. Get on YouTube and look it up. Miguel Cotto. Ever since the ESPN fight, never since amateurs. In Puerto Rico, period. His first five years, ten. Double jab. Bah. One jab. Bah. Straight right hand. Boom! Left foot to the body. His signature punch and has been his signature punch throughout his whole career. He does it so well. You know, in that peekaboo stance, he shoots his jab up and down. Bah, 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 bah. Head movement. Right uppercut. Jab, right uppercut. He can do it all as well. So, with these guys, I just see Miguel Cotto doing so many things in the pocket with that left hook to the body. As long as he keeps that chin tuck, those left hook to the body, you know, he's going to do very well. Sergio's old body at 39, it's, it's, it's been through a lot, you know. Uh, Chavez Jr. fights, the first Margarito fight they ever had, uh, he got to be pretty bad. Cotto been in so many wars. First Mar Margarito fight with him. He got beaten, cut up, bloody. It's one of the worst beatings ever. But it, we all know Pastor of Ferris. But um, I don't know. Let's get to the final hand. First couple of rounds, fell out round. I don't believe they're going to go too crazy. But if they do, it could benefit Sergio more because you can cut Cotto early. And Cotto can get cut really early because of the accuracy and the precision of the punches from Sergio. His intelligence, you know, his brain generalship. Uh, Sergio, he's going to have to really, really train hard, hard for this fight. And Gabriel Sarmento usually has great, great game plan. And if they use good adjustments, they can win this fight easy and make Miguel Cotto look silly. I mean, make him look like he's a B fight. They can do that. But he had to be able to use his legs a lot. He had to be able to turn a lot. And so the <laughs> four punch combo turn from Miguel Cotto does not fare well with South Pauls who have height. Sergio Martinez is five foot ten with a I believe a seventy three, seventy four inch reach, maybe even seventy five. So 
he's gonna be long with the jab so Soto's gonna have to use a lot of head move if he doesn't it's gonna get caught ripped up tore up and uh, it's gonna be a very very hard rough life for all these guys and we're gonna be like this man but he can make it easy for himself and double jab use his feints <laughs> You know, just little shoulder moves, little feints, you know, the little things is what counts. And then go to the body. Work combinations. Freddie's going to use him to be very offensive. Very, very, very offensive. You know, he's going to throw a lot of punches. Go pay or go pay and just be really, really ready. You know, he has to be, you know, mano y mano too. He has to be toe to toe with Sergio to beat him. And then use his professional clinch that he does very, very well like he did in the Mayweather fight. Use the professional clinch. And he also did it in the uh, Antonio Margarito fight when he's with uh, Diaz, Pedro Diaz, that trainer, uh, one of the best trainers, by the way, Cuban school of boxing. But anyway, um, very, very good bouts. I mean, you have, you know, artistry, you know, Picasso type of work that's going to be in the ring between these two. I mean, I hate it me. I just cannot wait. And uh, like I said, yo soy barigua para que todo sepa, wefa, you already know, I'm ready for my people, but at the same time, I'm a huge Sergio Maravilla Martinez fan, and uh, it's going to be equal, it's going to be a lot of Argentine fans, a lot of barigua's in the building, and uh, a lot of people are flying out for the Sergio fight to support, you know, so I mean, it's going to be rocking, and I just cannot wait, I bought a ticket already, so I'm, I'm just ready, you know, muy, muy, muy listo. Uh, I see Sergio winning two ways. Either Sergio wins by decision because he threw 80 to 90 to 100 punches per round. He's in prime condition. Uh, his knee looks like it's new. And uh, he doesn't get hit that much because of the angles that he's able to turn with his knee. Now, if his knee not that good and it shows the wear and tear from the Chavez Jr. fight, because he, he, I mean, he really messed his knee up in that fight at the very end. And, uh, if it shows, it will show because Miguel Cotto will hop on him. Miguel Cotto has that killer instinct and his, his fire is there, his fuego, and he'll step on it and throw the left foot. He'll start doubling up the punches. Left foot to the bottom, left foot to the top, left foot to the bottom, left foot to the top, overhand right, double jab in his face. And he can get Sergio out of there. That's just what I feel in the later rounds. 10th, 11th, or 12th, drop him a couple times, and maybe the referee stop, comes in for a TKO stop. His and the hands are raised from Miguel Angel Cotto. Sergio wins by knockout. It's because it's a punch that Cotto didn't see similar to the Pacquiao fight, even though he didn't get knocked out completely. But it would be a one-punch overhand left that he did not see. Sergio shrugging him shoulders, feigning with the jab, overhand left, you know, using the timing, because timing is everything. You don't have timing and patience. You don't have anything in boxing. And uh, Sergio does both very, very well. So, I mean, uh, they both can box going backward. They both can box coming forward. That's what's going to make the drama of this fight so beautiful. Because in Sergio says he's a coward. If you, you know, understand in Espanol, you know, you understand he said he's a coward, he's a pussy. You know, uh, I should have came out second. I'm pissed off. And oh, that's the only reason why the fight is made because he thinks I'm old. And go to like, I just don't care. I'm just ready to get in the ring. Let's, let's do what we got to do. So like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I got Cotto winning by unanimous decision or a late round knockout. Uh, if Sergio wins, which he could, and I'm rooting for him too. It's crazy as that sounds. Uh, it'll be by knockout in the late rounds or a split decision in yeah, 12 rounds. Tell me what you think. I'll get back to you with more boxing analysis, news, and updates. Peace.